This video will provide an overview of the predictable application as well as some of its features. It's important to note at the time of this video, the predictable application was available on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. In addition, the video is made using an iPad Pro 4th generation running iPad OS 14.4.1 and predictable 6.0.19. The app walkthrough will be broken down into five parts. The first will review the home screen layout. The second will demonstrate the different methods to form a message. The third will provide an overview of the app's settings. The fourth will cover the ability to integrate one's banked messages. Lastly, part five will provide additional resources. The video will now review the home screen layout. The predictable app can be used both in portrait and in horizontal view. The two bars in the upper left corner are the history bars, which will be demonstrated in the following clip. The history bars provide the communicator with quick and easy access to the most recent content in the message window. You can either scroll through the history bar using your finger or an external mouse, or use the left facing arrow. The upper right corner contains the communicator's preset custom favorites. Similar to the history bar, the communicator can either use their finger or an external mouse to swipe through or use the arrow to navigate their favorites. Outlined in red is the message window which displays any phrases and messages the communicator wants to share. The message window will be more closely reviewed later in this video. The action menu is located on the right side of the home screen. The speak icon reads aloud the content in the message window in a synthetic voice. The following clip will demonstrate this action. This is an example. The share icon allows the communicator to share the content in the message window in a variety of different ways. This action will be demonstrated in the following clip. The gear icon outlined in red opens up the predictable apps settings page. This will be demonstrated in the following clip. The double trash can icon clears any content in the message window. This action will be demonstrated in the following clip. The single trash can icon deletes one word in the message window at a time. The following clip will demonstrate this process. Outlined in red is the word prediction bar, which continually changes as new content is being placed in the message window. This feature will be demonstrated later on in the video. Outlined in red is the predictable keyboard. The smiley face icon opens up the emoji keyboard. The phone icon alerts the communication partner that the communicator is crafting a message. Please wait a minute. The speaker icon in the bottom right corner reads aloud the content in the message window. This is an example. The icon outlined in red displays the communicator's custom categories and phrases. The video will now review the different ways to form a message. The first way to form a message is to use the on-screen keyboard or an external keyboard. Another way to form a message is to use both the on-screen keyboard and the word prediction bar. A third way to form a message is to use both the on-screen keyboard and the communicator's preset custom phrases and categories. The communicator can also form a message by using only their preset custom phrases and categories. Lastly, the communicator can form a message by scrolling through the history tab in the upper left corner and selecting a previously used message or phrase. The video will now review the app's settings. To access the app's settings, tap on the gear icon outlined in red.
The speech settings provide the communicator with a number of different options. Predictable allows the user to choose between a default synthetic voice or using one's own a cappella or model talker synthetic voice. To integrate one's own synthetic voice, simply select a cappella or model talker and then enter one's username and password. In addition, the speaking rate and the speaking pitch can also be adjusted in the speech settings. The accessibility settings provide the communicator with a number of different access method options. The theme and appearance settings allow the communicator to customize the physical layout of the application by adjusting font type and size, colors, feature keys, and the layout of the home screen components. The word prediction settings enable the communicator to further customize the prediction's capabilities. The keyboard settings allow the user to change the type of keyboard as well as a few other keyboard options. The grid layout settings allow the communicator to customize the size of the grid and which functions are available. The make phone calls setting allows you to connect your phone with the predictable application. The multi-language settings allow you to choose a secondary language to use with the predictable application. Lastly, the support page provides users with different options and resources to help navigate and become proficient within the predictable application. The ability to integrate one's banked messages will now be discussed. If an individual has already completed or is in the process of message banking, they are able to integrate their messages with the predictable application. This portion of the video will provide a general overview of the process. Once you have downloaded your zip file from mymessagebanking.com, the communicator can log into their predictable account and select the draft phrases tab at the top of the page and then select import phrases. Once the zip file has been selected, it will begin to import all of the banked messages. The communicator can begin to assign categories to each message. Once the categories have been assigned, the communicator can then merge the messages into their account. Once the messages have been merged into the account, the communicator can then go into their categories and see their newly assigned categories in their predictable application. The following slide will provide additional resources for the predictable application.